is running. Come back, Come on, back. Come back, guys. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Further, 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 back, 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 but a lot of people, I mean, they're gonna, they got a good solid base and everything. So, uh, I mean, actually, what I do, I'm gonna about to show you a tilt series I like a lot. I've had a lot of success with it. Um, I'll show you the rolling tilt first. That's what I, that's what I do the most. Um, you can, okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get that, uh, that elbow and this wrist, okay, right there. And you can get it from like them being broke down. You let them come back up or something, and then hit it from there. Or you can just get it, and they say they don't even break all the way down. You can hit from there. That's so. I'm going to show you. You're going to chop just like you've been doing, okay? So you guys all got that down. And with this wrist right here, with the other arm, you're going to grab this wrist, and both the, the elbow and this wrist are going to pull into you, okay? Almost like you're pulling it through the guy you're wrestling, okay? Not, I mean, some guys try to pull it off to the side a lot like that, but I, I find that it's, it's the most strong and worst the best if you're pulling it straight to you, okay? Your grip, both your hands are down like this. Not one up, not like that or anything. Both over, like you're gonna do a pull up. It's like Roberts was saying. Okay? So, get that right there, nice and tight. And you're just gonna do, everybody I'm sure has done a somersault. You're just gonna go end over end, tuck your head. That's really important. Don't, don't forget to tuck your head. You're gonna have a bad surprise to do that. Okay? And uh, you're gonna just stay tight to them, all right? Boom. Okay, we go through. And the most important thing is to, you want to beat him, beat him uh, through with your lower body, okay? You want your, see my foot's planted right here, and my knee stuck on my knee, and he's kind of in my hip right here. You want to get there first, or he's not going to, you're not going to be able to catch him on his back. He's going to roll right off, okay? And this other, this other foot's up here, keeping this, uh, his legs from being able to roll through too, so he's stuck right here, okay? And he's in my hip, and I'm pulling my chest back teeing up with them, okay? So your body and his body is going to make a tee. Not, not parallel, not like this. See, if I'm parallel and I don't beat him through, he's going to just roll right off. I'm not going to get anything out of him, okay? So, really important. You want your body, your lower body to get get through there as fast as possible. This is really fast ever saw. And you're taking him through into your hips, okay? You're putting him in your pocket of your hips and teeing up with him, okay? So just like this. Boom. He's right in there, okay? Someone that's gonna, I mean, someone on bottom, they're, they're gonna find out that, but you're gonna get getting points right away. You're good, I mean, obviously, with a good rest, you're gonna be getting count. You should easily be able to get three points right there, five counts. If you do it right, and you gotta get them in your hips like that. So, I'll show you one more time. You guys can give it a try, right? So, this, keep it really tight to you, too, this whole thing. You don't wanna lose your grip or anything, you wanna be sucking it in. And then tuck, boom, got it right there. Pull your chest back, okay? Don't, be, don't feel like you need to be up here to stuck to him or anything. You're okay, you just tee up, keep your chest back, and you're gonna be able to get your count. All right? Does anybody have any questions about that? No? All right, let's go do it.